Hey everyone, it's Lenny Rao here from Lenny'sNetMarket.com and today we're going to be talking about the top five best URL shorteners. Uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with what a URL shortener is, it is just a simple way to make a long, ugly uh, URL link uh, look more attractive and secondly, it helps you track clicks on uh, any a link that you process through any one of these uh, URL shorteners that we're going to be talking about today. So, let's break it down really simple here. I'm on a YouTube channel, uh, the default URL, which is here in the search bar, the HTTPS is the URL. As you can see, it is very long. And if I were to tweet this link out to someone, it's not very attractive. Uh, if, if you tell your subscribers, hey, go click my, uh, go check out my YouTube channel, and they you drop in a long, ugly link like that, it's just not very uh, attractive. It doesn't make people want to click on that link. And as you can see, if you were on Twitter, they give you uh, 140 characters, which is not a lot of space. So when you drop in a long link like this, it takes away uh, from the number of characters that you have to work with. Now, on the other hand, let's start with our first URL shortener that we're going to be talking about today. That is uh, al.ly. Um, and all these URL shorteners pretty much work the exact same way. You drop in a long link, it gives you a shorter link. And if you've logged in and you set up an account with these free shorteners, um, you're going to be able to track the clicks on those links by what day those clicks came in. So, for example, I would drop that long, ugly uh, YouTube channel link here. I'd say shrink URL. It's going to make you click to confirm that you're not a robot. And once you've done that, you're provided with a nice shortened link that will take you to the same destination as the YouTube channel. So I'm going to drop that here just to show you really quickly. If, uh, if I tweeted that link out and I asked people to check out my YouTube channel, it would send them to the same link as if I just treated out this normal long uh, URL here. And as you can see, if I was on Twitter, it looks more attractive saying check out my YouTube channel and providing the second link versus check out my YouTube channel and providing the first link. So uh, hopefully that shows you uh, what the purpose of a URL shortener is. Now we're going to talk about what the top five free URL shorteners are in my opinion. So I just showed you al.ly. Um, you can find this one by, um, if you do a simple Google search and you say O-W-L-Y URL shortener, it is the first link that pops up to the top. Um, ideally, when you're using these URL shorteners, you want to be signed in because uh, if you want to go back and track how many clicks these uh, links are, these URLs are getting, um, when you start spreading them all over the web, um, you'll be able to track them. Um, inside of your dashboard with each uh, URL shorter provider. So I just showed you Ali. The second one that we're going to talk about is Tiny URL. It works the exact same way. Um, the only difference here is with Tiny, it gives you an option to add a custom alias, which is just a custom name uh, on the on the back of the URL. So instead of just tinyurl.com and some random generated list of numbers, um, it will give me a option to type in something like uh, YouTube CH1. Let's say that's the, what I want to add on the end. So I would say make tiny. And if this URL was available, then I'd be able to use it. If it was something more common like um, tiny.url forward slash car show, that's likely to have already been used by someone in the past and you will not be able to use the name if it's already been used before. So again, same thing. I put in that long URL for the YouTube channel. This is what it spit back because I put in a custom, um, a custom alias with it. And when I put that link in the URL and press enter, it takes me back to that to the YouTube channel just as if I'd use um, the long, ugly URL here up top. Moving on, um, the third top free URL shortener that's out there that you'll see quite a bit is Bitly. Um, that is just bitly.com. Again, works the same way. You copy the link. The long link, you press it in here and it automatically processes a custom Bitly link. Again, you want to be logged into your Bitly account and um, you'll be able to check out the analytics um, on that URL um, by day. The next URL shortener we'll be talking about, this is uh, Google's custom URL shortener. It is called uh, uh, Googly or GoogGL. It's a G O O dot G L. Um, this one. People don't really know the power of URL shorteners. If you use these properly, properly, you can actually get some link juice that passes through the URL shortener to whatever link that you shorten. So 
Um, ideally, uh, if you're if you're going to be shortening links, Google is the one you kind of want to use. But just make sure you're not spamming that one uh, because obviously Google kind of controls the internet when it comes to search engines. So you know they they they're going to have uh, kind of a spying glass on you if you're kind of spamming their links. Uh, but again, this is another URL shortener through Google. It works the exact same way. Um, once you shorten that long link. It's going to populate all the original URLs. It's going to show you how long ago those links were created. Uh, it's going to show all your custom short URLs that you've passed, that you've processed in the past, and how many clicks that you've gotten on each one. The last URL short I want to show you is one um, if you have a WordPress website. It is called Pretty Link. Um, it's actually called Pretty Link Lite, which is the free version. Um, Pretty Link Pro or the, the paid version has a little bit more functionality to it, but uh, Pretty Link Lite works very well. It is a WordPress plugin, so you would simply install this in your WordPress dashboard just like any other plugin. Um, you would go to Add New Link. And uh, this is similar to the tiny URL one where when we're taking a, a long uh, choose if I want it to be a follow or no follow link, and then I'd simply press Create. And then that would populate a list of URLs here. And I could go back and check how many hits I got on that URL, which is simply clicks, and uh, how many of those clicks were actually unique, which means just not the same person clicking on the, uh, the URL time and time again. So just to recap, top five best URL shorteners, Owly, Tiny, Bitly, the Google URL shortener, and um, Pretty Link Lite, which can be installed in, um, inside of your WordPress dashboard. Now, for those of you that may have a large list of URLs that you want to get processed, um, doing this manually will be a very tedious process. Um, let's say you had a list of a thousand URLs and you wanted to shorten those links because you plan on sharing those links all over uh, your social media accounts and you don't want to keep sharing the same, uh, same URL every single time and you've got a list you want to shorten, watch the next video. I have a very cool tool that I use. Um, it's, it's very cheap but it's very, very powerful and it does a lot of cool things. Um, watch the next video and check it out. It is a, uh, a mass URL shortener, um, mass Google URL, URL shortener, and it works very quickly, very fast, and it does the job great. Um, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, um, do me a favor, just give the video a like, and please subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, lineageantmarket.com. I look forward to connecting with you. Go ahead and subscribe and watch the next video. Thank you.